Hi, this is Bitluni and today we take a closer look at these affordable ESP cam modules and check how we can use them to show real-time video on my ping pong LED wall. Earlier this year, Espressive added support for cameras and video processing to the ESP32 API. There is even a complete example in the Arduino integration. In the following months, these cheap modules appeared on AliExpress. If you bought one, you probably quickly realized that they are not easily to program. Lacking the USB to serial circuit, you need an additional serial converter and have to perform a manual reset whenever you want to upload a sketch. The catch with the ESP8266 and ESP32 micros is that you need to pull down GPIO0 and reset it to put it into programming mode. To ease up things, the uploader on the PC got support for an auto reset circuit. Since all the ESP-based microcontrollers with USB are using a simple USB to serial chip, unused control signals of the serial interface were utilized to do this boot mode selection. This is how the auto reset circuit looks like. RTS and DTR are used in sequence to pull down GPIO0 and reset the IC. EN stands for chip enable, which is often labeled as inverse reset. How is all that a problem with these CAM modules? You could use an ESP programmer that has the auto reset circuit implemented, but unfortunately the designers of the ESP cam forgot to break out the enable pin. The only way to avoid the manual pressing of the reset button would be to tap into the button pin. That's something I thought might be solvable a different way. How about cutting off the complete power as a reset? That can be done using a MOSFET at the low side. And that's actually what I did with this module that you saw teased in the last video. I can simply plug in the camera, program it and even use the serial communication for debugging. After it's done I can unplug it and connect it to my LED wall. But first I will make a small breakout board for the camera that I can extend later. So this digital mirror is neat, but um, let's add some image processing. Hacker mode activated. If you want to experiment with these camera modules too, I link the parts in the description. The programmer can be found on my Tindy store. I have several other projects with this in mind, so tune in again if you liked it. Enjoy the visuals and I see you next time. Bye!